And then there's another question. Uh, do you have uh, IT badge before taking Colaberry? I, oh, okay. IT background. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I did not have an IT background before taking Colaberry. Actually, I studied social work, uh, which is more of a social science. So no math included. So it's, so getting to uh, Colaberry was more of a career change move, uh, which I wanted to do because I considered that maybe if I work uh, within that field, uh, I'd work in it and I didn't really like it that much. And the career growth and uh, remuneration prospects of it, um, they were not so exciting. So I had to find something that can at least make me six figures and more uh, without spending much time um, in school, you know? Like myself, I'm a family man. I have uh, three small children who need to be taken care of. So I don't have the luxury of going back to school to start learning some IT. So Colaberry then came in handy. And I still did Colaberry under very difficult circumstances. Uh, because uh, in my job that I had, I, uh, I used to work a, like long hours, you know, 10, 12 hour shifts, sometimes 14 hour shifts, six days a week. So it was taking a toll on me. And in, the, in that job, I was making maybe 50 to 60,000 a year. But uh, there was no way I was going to grow my income maybe to a six figure, you know, no matter how hard I work or no matter how long I will stay in that job. So Colaberry actually opened that door of opportunity for me. So when the pandemic hit in 2020, uh, there was a slow slow down in business and that gave me a window of, 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 of opportunity in terms of time to be able to start doing the course. So I utilized my time during the pandemic when people were, were not seeing each other to use, utilize all those, that time to put it to study. So that at the end of the pandemic, I'll be someone else with a different job. So that's how I did it. And uh, it worked out very well, but I mean, it was not a walk in the park, you know, it was tough, you know, after a 12, 14 hour shift, then you have to get into a four hour bootcamp and then su uh, submit assignments in between. It was not easy. And sometimes I had to choose between sleeping or studying. Because if you don't, if you don't, if you didn't put that much effort, I mean, you would fall behind or being kicked out of the class, you know? So those were things that I didn't want to happen to me. So I just kept on pushing as hard as I can, you know? And uh, the same thing uh, with the IPBC, it was not easy. Things were tough. I know some people, can complain about the toughness of things or losing hope. But with me, I didn't have an option. If I didn't force myself to do it, I could still be driving trucks and delivering heavy packages right now. So this was the only way out for me. So I only had two options to fight and to fight. So I fought and fought and uh, struggled on, soldiered on, did what I was expected to do with Colaberry, kept moving one step at a time until I got to the end of it. And it paid off and I was able to uh, this double my income with my first job and my income keeps increasing with my next job. 
So I guess maybe if I get an opportunity to get another job in the future, I'll be getting more and more because of the skills that I'll be getting along the way. So don't lose heart. I know it's, it's not easy. We all start from somewhere and not having an IT background, but the way the program is structured, it teaches you the skills that you need to be able to do at least your first job. And then when you get your first job, you can also learn additional skills maybe that are needed to be able to make it because IT is always changing. Technologies are always changing. They come and go. So at least once you have the basics, you can always adapt some new technologies as, as they come and you keep going with everybody. So just keep pushing, keep working hard, keep moving forward. Don't take too much time being stuck, stuck on one place. Establish relationships with other people within the class. If you're having issues, ask others to help you out, please to explain to you how things work and you keep moving forward. It will not help you to say you drop for a month because you, you are not able to solve things. It's, you are doing yourself a disservice. So just keep working on it, have relationships with others who can help you to navigate and also solve some of your problems that you have. Reach out to your mentor and things will move on very well. And Colabel now I understand they now have some classes to help people in different stages of assignments, if I'm not mistaken, and utilize all those so that you just have to keep moving forward. The main thing is just to keep moving forward. And I wish I had done that myself because uh, I got to see people who joined the program way after me, moving fast and getting placed whilst I was still doing my projects. So that kind of uh, motivated me and pushed me to have to do something because uh, the longer it takes, it's a disadvantage to you. So I was inspired by those who came after me. I mean, when somebody joins IPBC, you see them introducing themselves and videos and stuff like that. And uh, you, at some point you then see them making progress and getting launched whilst they're still there. So that actually pushed myself to, when, when I was getting close to the launch, then I decided to resign from my job and give it all to my project work and launch so that I'll be prepared when the time comes to start taking interviews. So this is what I did.